Hi there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I'm really excited to just jump on quick and talk about the secrets to a great meal guide. In the upcoming group that I have, um, the Summer Sizzle, it's actually just a shorter program, about 12 days of meal plans and really teaching you how to do meal prep meal plans, as well as taking you through some intermittent fasting. So if you're interested in that, we're starting that the 19th. If you're interested, you can comment below or message me or whatnot. Um, but meal guides and meal planning is one of the number one things that I know people struggle with and have a really hard time with because it's really important to keep you on track. If you're not prepared for the day, it's really tough to stay doing the right things to keep you moving towards your goals. If you're not prepared for the day and then even if you are prepared for the day and you you know, move forward with the best intentions, stuff still happens and you're like, oh my God, what happened? How did my day get out of control? Uh, I can't even, I can't even stay on track now. What the heck? So the more you can plan and the more you can plan for backups, the better. So here are the basic things to really include in a meal plan guide. When you're meal prepping, when you're trying to throw food together, and for those of you moms that um, have kids at home for the summer or going to camps or you're gonna be running around doing things, these are a few great tips to kind of keep in mind that you wanna include in your meals and, and everything else. Um, tomorrow I'll be going over some great snack ideas too because those are really important as well. But the secrets of a great meal guide, when you're putting stuff together for every meal that you're eating, Make sure you're getting protein in there. Really like healthy, as much protein as you can pack into a meal. The more, the better. Almost you can't get too much protein because most of the time people are deficient in protein versus getting too much. So any types of healthy proteins, whether it be from a dairy source or you know a meat or beans or nuts or seeds or whatever that may be, protein, and again, amounts may be different. If you've got kids, a lot of times kids don't eat the same amount of protein as you do. Um, but you know, for growing bodies, they still need a lot of protein, but that's the number one thing to include in your meals. Making sure you're getting healthy fats as well. Um, a lot of times this is a category that people either overshoot or undershoot. So it's really tough to know where you're at unless you're, again, planning for that or just kind of keeping it in your head. Okay, these are the four things that I need to grab and need to have as part of my meal. Okay, healthy fats is one of them. Where can I get that? If you can't include it in your meal, have a fat bomb great. It's, you're still eating it around the same time as your meal. Perfect. It doesn't have to be part of the dish. Just add that in there at the same time that you're eating. Add a fat bomb if you can't get it in. And then a carb, some type of healthy carbohydrate. Um, fruit's a great carb. And then you have other simple things like, again, with kids, it's so easy to eat crackers and toast and pretzels and, you know, chips, things like that, that are easy, fast, grab, go, and they last a long time in a container. I'll be honest as a mom, like sometimes it's really a false safe to be like, oh, well, we've got those crackers in the pantry. I guess I'll just go grab those because I know they're going to last for a week in my car if I forget them there <laughs> versus something else. I know you guys have been there too. Duh. I mean, I know, right? Yes. In fact, so I was just on a little tour through Wisconsin and Northern Michigan, had a couple of TV show um, spots, segments that I did, and then did some talks. And I had my two girls with me, so it was a little bit of a road trip for us, and we drove back today. And that was literally the number one thing. We, I always pack food in the car. Um, we actually stopped at a fresh fruit stand along the way, which was kind of fun. Um, got like nectarines and cherries and bananas and all this fun stuff, right? So that was fruit. Um, we do a lot of protein shakes and protein bars and protein snacks in the car. And I have trail mix and other like basic things like that. And I don't do a lot of, you know, pretzels or things in the car, just like one bag um, or popcorn, something like that. But when they stop, they always want to get something, right? They always want to get something at the gas station when I'm, you know, fueling up or whatever. They're like, Mom, Mom, I want to get, you know, what can I get? And I'm like, oh, you guys, there's nothing we can eat here. It's all garbage. Don't. So I'll end up getting them like a flavored water or something like that, whatever. But they always want something and it's so frustrating because everything that they sell at a gas station is usually some, just carbs. So that's a really tough thing when you're traveling or when you're on the go a lot, if you are if you know you are in a rush, in a hurry, or you're worried you're not gonna have something, or you go to throw something in your car and you forget it there, if it's a box of crackers, you're not as worried about it. Yeah, I don't know if you hear my kids stomping around still. Yes, they're trying to put them together. But <laughs> like, so a lot of times when I talk about carbohydrates, including that in a healthy meal, 
make sure you're getting enough carb, especially for kids that are running around and active during the day. But this is sort of the category I worry the least about because it's so easy to get it in everywhere. Protein, healthy fats. Again, if you have struggled getting that in, a good amount of healthy fats during your meal, have a fat bomb or something with your meal or as a little dessert item, that's nice. Carbs, and then the veggie, the veggie piece of it too. It's really, I mean, if you're not consciously thinking about it, Sometimes I'm guilty of this myself. I'll be like, oh, I'm, I eat veggies all the time. I love vegetables, right? Oh, I'm super healthy. I eat it all the time. And then when I actually track what I'm doing for the day, I'm like, dang it. I only had like one serving of vegetable today. And it's, then it's like 8 o'clock at night. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Oh, I'm way behind here. Uh. So then adding some other things in to try and catch up. But when you're planning meals, I mean, people get stuck in a rut, right? You get stuck in a rut of cooking the same thing, prepping the same thing, or you're going out to dinner and if you eat out a lot or you're grabbing food on the go, it can be really easy to fall in the trap of, oh, it's just this once. Yet all of a sudden, just this once turns into three or four times a week, which again is not bad, but if you're choosing foods that are really healthy and balanced, that's so much better for you and easier to stay on track. So those are kind of the things to look for when you're doing meal guides, meal planning, that type of a thing. So for the summer sizzle that we're doing, one of the most beneficial things for people is actually the meal guide that goes along with it. It's 10 days of full meal guides that really guide you through and design your day so you're not having to stress, you're not having to think about it. And the meal guide, this one is totally different than other meal guides that I've done because it's you just swap it in and out. It's all, it says meal, and then you go to the list of charts of foods, and you get to like, I like this, I like this, I like this. Boom, boom, boom. And you pick from the list here. Amazing. Amazing, right? Yes. So then every time if you're like, ooh, I have that leftover chicken. I want to make something with chicken. Great. Grab something and put something together so you can use that leftover chicken. Super easy. Plug and play so you can stay motivated and keep going towards your goals. So if you guys have questions on that, I mean, don't hesitate to comment below, message me or something because I'm so happy to talk about these little pieces here because it takes, you can talk about meal planning, you can talk about nutrition, you, you know, all, the, all day long, but it's actually implementing it and finding these little tools and tricks to implement it into your life so that you actually do it and get a great result with it. So oh, that's what I got for you guys on meal planning. I'm going to talk about some snacks tomorrow. Um, my plan is to talk about some snacks and have my kids show you some of their snacks, but we'll see how that goes <laughs> with that. Um, yes, but if you guys have questions, don't hesitate. Otherwise, everybody have a great night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.